Hi, this is Stephen from Group 2. I'm sorry I really couldn't make today, but let me tell you a bit about the political history of the Inca Empire. The Inca had a great civilization, a great empire, and their capital, Cusco, was fittingly magnificent. Francisco Pizarro himself said, we can assure your majesty that it is so beautiful and has such fine buildings that it would even be remarkable in Spain. Now, the Inca actually had very humble beginnings back in the day. They started as a pastoral tribe. According to their foundation myth, a man named Manco Capac actually founded Cusco circa 1100. He was said to be the son of the sun god Inti, and Mother Moon. And he was sent to Earth with a golden staff. He brought it to Cusco and there he founded a temple to honor his father. Manco Capac, or Founder Royal, became the very first Sapa Inca. He ruled the Kingdom of Cusco, which later became the Inca Empire, and he established the hereditary monarchy. The Sapa Inca was the divine leader of the empire. His title meant the only Inca, but he was also known as Apu, or divinity, and Inca Capac, the mighty Inca. There were two dynasties of Inca rulers from the years 1100 through 1533, when the last pre-conquest ruler, Atahualpa, was slain by the Spaniards. Now you can see on this slide that the dynasties came from different moieties. Uh, moiety is just one of two social groups that comprise a uh, society. Atahualpa may have been the last free Inca emperor, but he was not the greatest. No, that honor probably belongs to Pachacuti, who built Machu Picchu an image of which you can see on the right. Now this is a uh, great cultural landmark of the Americas that survives to this day. It was built as an estate for the emperor. Now, why did he deserve a great estate? Because, among other things, he really expanded the empire a great deal. He was willing to use soft power if he could get, could get him what he wanted. He used persuasion and rich gifts to convince other rulers to join the Inca Empire and serve underneath him. He would then take care to educate their children and indoctrinate them to become members of the Inca nobility. However, Pachacuti was not above waging war and using very harsh tactics. Uh, his son, Tupac Inca Yupanqui, uh, was in much the same mold and was also a very successful conqueror during Pachacuti's reign and afterwards. In fact, the uh, BBC television series Horrible Histories actually made a video about uh, Pachacuti. It's called Do the Pachacuti, and uh, it tells a story of how ruthless uh, he could be at times. That does it for my section. Thanks for watching.